when me and Ginger Rose got into it. That's what I spoke about. Life scan. Hmm. Yeah, you're saying that you talked about Ginger Rose, who you said was a light skinned girl, who you're claiming her photo is your photo when I compared her face to Paris Milan. You mean to tell me that you think that Ona looks so much like you, you can't even tell a photo from her from yourself? Yet, she's light skin and you're brown skin. How does that work? That's not true. And that's the point of what I was saying in my video originally. All things aside, and I know you're going to be colorist because you have issues with your own skin tone against my mother. Kind of shows your character. Now, what I wanted to talk about though was your idea of lighter skin is weird to me because it's like you're literally eating at people who are your own skin tone trying to attack people of your own skin tone is it just that you're so insecure about your skin tone you can't even recognize who's your skin tone because of the fact that you have a lighter skinned mother and you feel inferior because you're not as light as her that's how i feel and i feel like light skin mothers are the worst mothers okay uh, the reason why is because look look at you you're literally putting blue eye contacts in your eyes with a skin tone like mine that looks fucking hideous okay and i'm just being honest here i saw a woman who was my color who had blue eye contacts in her eyes and i must tell you it's painful to stare at people and give them eye contact when they have my skin tone and they have blue eye contacts in their eyes. You're way too dark to be putting blue eye contacts in your eyes. I'm way too dark to be putting blue eye contacts in my eyes. On a photo you can do it because if you have bright lighting, you look lighter than what you are. But in a normal setting, in real life, you should never put blue eye contacts in your eyes. That's a sign that you really hate yourself. And you're really insecure about your own phenotype. And this is why you take time to try to attack women who are your complexion. Because you have that inferior complex. See, you, like Anna, both have light-skinned mothers. You both have what you said were mixed-race mothers, basically. Um, this is the complex that creates you. It creates a self-hating woman who tries to put herself above other black women but she can never quite do it with the women her complexion and that's why she gets very bitter towards the women of her complexion you try to do it to dark-skinned women and this is why they put that complex of trying to make brown-skinned women wish they were light-skinned in order to avoid them from feeling better than dark-skinned women that's why they do it because of women like you you know they do it because they're trying to protect themselves from colorist black women like yourself. So that's what that is all about. Now let's continue. Because she said the same thing you were saying. Evil shit. You're dark skin, no black. No, she did not. The honest sweet ginger and I have we fought several times. You you wanna look? Let me show you. Right. Anne Walker Ramirez Anna Sweet Ginger Oh wait, it's not showing up. Oh right here. Yeah, this right here, this video right here, this is one of the few videos. There's plenty of videos. Of me going after on a sweet ginger now I did go soft on on her because she was darker than me and I'm always very soft on people darker than me and Anna was a lot darker than me so that's why I was very soft on her like for example Karenny I'm not gonna be soft on uh, I have a video coming on her and it's not gonna be nice or pretty or soft at all she's far enough from dark-skinned women where I can actually um, 
do what I do. And these people never realize what's going to happen. They think that for some reason that it's going to be about who can be the whitest. Never play that game. We're all going to lose. We're all going to lose if we say who can be the lightest. Why don't we just focus on something else? That's how I see it. Don't focus on white women. Don't put white women above you. White women are the majority of society. Why are you putting most women above you? Like, seriously. Continue, though. I want you, all black men are predators. All black men should die. Hmm. I don't think all black men should die. What? Specifically, how are you going to lie about me like that when we both make the same kinds of videos about Cynthia G? We both make videos about her abortion ideas and how I did not agree with her saying stuff about black men and how they should be aborted. I'm very pro-life. You can't really make that up on me. And I specifically talk about black men and black on black crime and how black men are the main victims of the crimes. They're the main ones who are going to die. And they don't say anything about it. But I do. I say you need to care about it because, I mean, I love my father through it. But anyway, you know, that's how I see it, you know. And you try to make up lies just because you're jealous. You, why? Why do you have to have that little frown on your face like that? Like, seriously, that shows you're really jealous and angry, you know. If you were really not affected or you didn't have negative feelings towards someone who didn't do you any wrong. I mean, I defended you with the whole honest sweet ginger situation. I specifically said that Anna Sweet Ginger had some problems because she was going after you, you know, and she had a similar phenotype to you, to the point where you don't even know your own photos from hers. Mm. And that's what I was saying about the exoticals. Now, that's not just only to exoticals there's also dark i mean there's also brown-skinned black women and light-skinned black women who will just go after other light-skinned and brown-skinned black women it's because you're jealous because well you look like that and nobody wants to look like that i mean i don't do you see anyone getting plastic surgery to look like you i, I don't <laughs> i'm just saying i'm being completely honest here oh maybe you'll try and pretend your lips uh, no one's trying to pretend they have a big forehead, um, brow ridge. That, by the way, is not a an African feature. That is a Caucasian feature. The brow ridge, your big brow ridge, is actually a Caucasian feature. It's in connection with the apes, the Neanderthal apes. And that's what, another thing, you're going to say something about white men and uh, other races, equality to other races. I generally, when I talk to white races people, I literally call them apes. So um, you can't go with the idea that I white worship. I do not do that. I don't worship any human being like you say you worship human beings because you're not smart enough to understand that God is more than any man, period. Um, but it, you've shown that you're slow in a lot of different ways. So that's no shock. I never said that about black men. You're just making that up. Why don't you come up with actual clips of me actually saying this? Oh, you can't. No, you're probably just focused on disliking me because you're jealous. What a sad soul. I mean, if you're going to lie about someone, actually come up with some clips. You can't. You're saying all oh, black women should die. Oh, but one other thing I wanted to say was, as far as the idea of people having hate towards black men, I do not believe in calling black men apes or anything like that because it is annoying to me because it's like, I think, and I know some people don't think this, but I think if I have a child with anyone, it doesn't matter what his race is, 
my child is going to be black and if he's male he will be a black male and he will be a black man when he grows up why would i acquiesce with calling my son a an ape you know that's how i see it you know i do not believe in using derogatory words i do believe in not being sexually attracted to black men that's it you know and that makes sense especially in a familial sense even if i am you know the brother uh, the brother is a black man or my father is a lighter was a lighter skinned black man or my my uncle is a black man or if i have sons that are black you know I'm not supposed to be attracted to my family. You get what I'm saying? So it's not really a shock that I'm not attracted to black men. <laughs> Just saying. I let her have it. And the only time, and I said this in my video, I said this. I said, to all my light-skinned queens, this is not about you. This is about this bitch. I said that in a video. You are lighter than Anna, sweet gender. Why are you delusional, weirdo? Like, seriously. You're no dark-skinned black woman. And I'm going to show you what a real dark-skinned black woman is. Because for some reason, you don't understand what a dark-skinned black woman is. So now I'm going to show you. Go look, go look at it. You looked at everything else. And then my no, I don't look at your channel like that, sweetie. I've watched your channel a few times, like when you said um, they want to fuck us, but they don't, they want to smash us or whatever, but whatever. I watched that video, and I didn't have anything against it. I mean, like some stuff I might not have agreed with, but I, I don't really care about like little small stuff that you might think and I might not think, and I might find that's not the case in my personal life. As long as it's not true and my life is going on well, I don't really care what you think. Um, I watched your channel for other reasons. And I still will watch your channel when you calm down and stop obsessing over me. The divesting video also said this. I said about, I talked about the mulattoes. I said, I talked about how you guys get you. No, you are a mulatto. You literally said your mom's a Creole. My mother, my mother isn't, my mother isn't a mulatto. You think my mother's a mulatto? Really? This mulatto to you? This mulatto? Really? No, I, I think most people would think your mom's a mulatto. Actually, looking at her, look, this is my mom. This is your mom. Uh, stop being delusional again, girl. I don't care about those people, period. I, I don't understand what's wrong with you. You think j that everybody's got to have... You think that everybody's got to have... I don't know what you think everyone's got to have. Because, like, what physically is different about you than Obama? You guys are physically very similar racially. I'm not very similar to you racially. Uh, I would say I fall more with Saharans, honestly, racially. Um, that makes sense because over 50% of my heritage is Saharan, not European, period. You have a lot more European blood in you, probably, as you are saying, at least implying at least that your mother is more of mixed ancestry period than my mother is my mother's over 90 percent black as you can tell my mother looks this is my mother my mother looks like she's fully african your mother doesn't even look black your mother looks like a latina what well, she looks like a real spick and honestly she is a spick being completely honest that your mother is a spick because 
Creoles are Latin descent, so technically your mother is a spick. And everyone knows I'm not really nice to Hispanics. I literally will call you guys spicks. What? I mean, I, I, I call you guys spicks in real life. But you guys never really pay attention to it because you're shocked that a black person can have negative connotations to people outside of the race. You have this feeling and this perspective that you're the lowest of the low. It's a sad case. Like, being a black person, you can't look down on other races. It's just what it is, you know, if you want to. Anyway. Black girl magic. Black girl magic. And she didn't do shit for black women. And she got a lot of black women's votes. She don't even claim to be black. I talked about Meghan Markle. She married the prince. And they didn't even want to give her protection. They didn't want to give her bodyguards. You want to know why? Because she's not pure white. She wasn't white enough. So what you think they think about you? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really get why are you upset because I think you're more upset because you're worried that I will have children that are non that aren't from a black man or whatever. Maybe that's your problem. I don't know. To me, it's just like weird. Why would I care what racist people think of me? I'm supposed to care why? I, I don't. If I did, then why do I call them apes? Obviously, you don't call people apes if you care what they think about you. I mean, this is this isn't rocket science, but like I said, you do seem like you're simple-minded. Continue. I'll say this. See, I'm not gonna do you how I did ginger rolls. I'm gonna be a little more nice and sweet to you because I can tell you're slow, mm. and I think. Sweetie, no, you're slow. You're literally going off of a video of a man who's mad at me because I don't like BBC. Literally, I have his comments on my channel specifically showing that the man was mad because I don't like BBC. So you are literally just doing his dirty work because you're mad because I don't like BBC? Well, why don't you mind your own business and not be bothered by the fact that that I don't like BBC, okay? And then also one other thing I wanted to show. We are literally the same color. What are you talking about? I'm light skin and you're, you're brown skin, sweetie. You look lighter than me, okay? Stop lying, okay? Stop lying because you want some black man's attention and you don't feel like you're top tier being completely honest and as far as my last video you can see how you will never be top tier and the reason why is just because for whatever reason you happen to look like you're shriveled up urine colored unattractive mother and because of that you will always look like an off-brand of a black woman you will never look like the original natural, dark-skinned, beautiful, gorgeous black woman. It's just what it is, you know. You can't even get as full of lips as I can. How can you, how do you think you're going to even do that with dark-skinned black women who have much bigger lips than I do? Like, how? At this point, you'd be better off saying you're blazing because you look blazing. You don't even look like a black girl. You really don't. And, oh yeah, that was the other thing. You trying to attack my mother because my mother's dark-skinned shows that you, as a tragic mulatto and an angry, pissed-off, off-light-skinned individual, are colorless against dark-skinned black women, and you try to act like being light-skinned is better. You try to act like having a light-skinned mother is better. Then you want to turn around and try and act like being black is what you're proud of while wearing blue eye contacts in your eyes. Sweetie. Sweetie. You just are jealous at this point and 
dissatisfied with your own phenotype. I understand what your problem is. I understand you can't really fulfill any appeal either way because you can't really appeal to people as being a dark-skinned black woman and you can't appeal very well as a mixed woman because the thing is people your color and people my color are crapped on when it comes to light-skinned women and mixed women because we don't have the lightest hue and complexion so and that's just my perspective on that like I said, if anyone was on drugs, your mother looks definitely like she's on drugs. One, she's nodding out. Why? Two, um, why does she look like she's almost 70 years old, yet she has a small kid? I mean, doesn't crack age you? My mother doesn't even look a year over 30, and she's 50. So it's just like, how are you going to try and act like someone's on crack or drugs? If anyone, I think that's your family. I'm, I'm pretty sure of it, actually. Why do you have to take care of your mother? Is it because she's on the pipe and she can't take care of herself? Oh, light skin didn't help her, did it? Oh, yeah, you thought being a urine-colored bitch was going to somehow make your mother have a way to get you out of the ghetto. I'm sorry it didn't. You had to climb right out of the ghetto, even despite the fact that you had a urine colored bitch as a mother. So that's what I have to say on that, sweetie. Um, you're not going to make me think that light skin is a better thing. You're really not. And you look crazy. You try to talk about being a Nobody talked about your hair, crazy. You're mentally ill. Because why are you making up all these things? And you can't back up one of them. So I think you're very unstable, mentally ill, and um, it making you look really badly. Because I mean, like, I didn't do anything to you. I didn't. I, I actually defended you. And this is how you try to respond to your supporters, of which, by the way, I am a supporter. As you can see, I'm a subscriber. But yeah, you're literally attacking people for a black man, just like Divested Zealot talked about. Many of you mammies will attack black women for a black man, for favor out of a black man. Because you know it's not true, because you could easily look at my channel, and you know you don't see it on my channel. You know I'm not talking about you on my channel. So you know what you're doing. That's not a wig. That's Photoshop. That's actually my natural hair. Sh I think it's, no, that's long, longer actually, because it's in a bob. Before it's in a short bob, that's my natural hair. But that I put it thicker and I actually made it um, longer and black. I changed my hairstyle several times, actually. One time I made my hair really short. That wasn't a wig. It was just Photoshop, where, like, my hair was longer, and I just cut it shorter with face app. I also, the glasses aren't real either. You know, I, I like doing all that because it helps me look more like you can take me seriously. I'm not trying to make myself look attractive, obviously, because I did it to myself. I was trying to dummy down my looks, actually, because the looks in that photo are close to a nine. And when I did what I did to it, it's about a seven. So it's actually helped me, for me personally, I feel, be more relatable to the women I want to be relatable to. You know, I don't want to be known for my looks, really. I want to be known more for my perspective on things and my take on things. I want people to listen to me, not look at me. You like a broke-down Chinese man. You have a white man. Sweetie, you look like a Chinese man. I'm, I'm sorry. That's why we're here, right? It's literally because on a sweet ginger said you looked transgender. It is what it is. And, you know, I didn't want to say that. You know, I didn't. I, I originally wanted to say that, um, 
I thought it was wrong what Honest Sweet Ginger did to you. You know? And I thought that that was terrible to lie about you like that. And I thought that honestly, from my perspective, that she spread lies about light-skinned women and brown-skinned women. And that was the same about you. But are you any different when you're spreading lies about me because you're jealous of me? All I ever know is that this, when you spread lies like this and you lie over and over without any proof in anything you're saying, must you must know that I obviously feel like you are jealous of me and I am obviously better than you. Because if, understand, no one comes for anyone they don't feel is better than them. And you obviously came for me because I never came for you. I supported you. And like, I just wish you would mellow out so then I could watch your channel like normal. But instead, you want to show everyone that you're jealous of me and angry at me and want to make up lies about me. And many people will look at my channel and realize I've never attacked you. I've only said I like your channel, I'm subscribed to your channel, and you can't really hate me for liking your channel. I mean, only puerile children do that. Continue. Uh, that's great. Like I said, I wasn't trying to look feminine or anything like that. So what are you doing? You, you, you're hating on my looks right now and on an edited photo. I mean, I, I don't know. It's just what it is. It's like, I obviously don't want anything you have. I don't want my nose three times bigger. I don't want my forehead masculine. I don't want my jawline masculine like yours. I don't want my cheekbones non-existent. You know, I just don't want anything you have. But I think you should love your features. Oh, you're jealous you're again. No, you just hate me because I'm better looking than you, girly. That's it. I supported your channel. I never said a bad word about you. Ever. Never. And I'm already going to show the two videos that I made showing that I never attacked you. One bit. And you're going to look like the hater that you are. Just like Anna. Why? Can't you guys just love the face that God gave you instead of hating someone who's better looking than you? Can't you do that? I'm just saying, you know. And, you know, I don't claim to be the most beautiful thing ever. I think that dark-skinned black women are the ideal phenotype. I do. That's why I showed the ideal woman is not you, it's not me, as far as dark-skinned black women and black women. Black beauty is among dark-skinned black women. You don't make the cut, I don't make the cut, it is what it is. Who would make the cut more? I think I would, because I have soft, round, high cheekbones. I don't have a hard jaw like you do. I don't have a hard brow ridge like you do. Those are male features, you know, and they make you look more masculine. That's why, um... Anna called you transgender. That's basically why she said it. But I just found it funny when she was saying it because I was like, she really didn't have much of a more feminine face than you. Only thing was, Anna has more high cheekbones than you. Um, but yeah, as far as like black features, I actually have more black features. At least the good ones. High cheekbones, full lips. My jaw isn't like yours. My brow ridge is actually soft. My forehead is in... I'm not really sure. My forehead is round? Kinda? 
it's not as round as my mother's. My mother's is super round. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't have anything like, yeah, continue. You're the type of female that starts some shit, then when that person reacts to it, you play innocent. Like, okay, then show me what you're reacting to because there's nothing you're reacting to. You're the one starting stuff. You're making up stuff. Show the video. I, I haven't made a video on you. All you can show of videos is a video of a man who is obsessed with me for five months because I said I did not like BBC. And you're trying to please him like a mammy that you are. I understand that. But, but you didn't have to drag me into it. You really didn't. Okay, I understand you like his comments and all that stuff, and you wanted to get favor from him, but that doesn't mean anything about me actually saying anything about you. You know you can't find any video of me talking about you negatively. And if you tried to, I would show the actual video so people would know you're lying, just like I'm doing right now by commenting and responding to your video and letting people know you're a liar. No, I'm not a liar. You're a liar. And if you aren't a liar, why don't you actually bring proof? You can't. I'm going to bring proof. I'm going to bring proof of the two videos that I made of you, for you. And both were actually defending you and actually being a friend to you. But you can't be a friend to me because you're too jealous of me to actually see me clearly. You were not respectful to me because look at how you're acting right now. You could have checked my channel, but what you did was follow some no-name guy and get mad at me over something I didn't say. Someone else said about me because they're angry I don't like BBC. Why don't you, Mammy, stop getting angry at black women for not liking BBC? It's more BBC for you, okay? And, st and honestly, to be completely honest with you, maybe you feel bad about it because you want my leftovers. Because you want someone I don't want, period. Like always. Many times, you type of women want men I don't want and never will want. It is what it is, okay? You could say that with white men. You probably don't want many white men, even though I know you've actually said that you think some white men are attractive. <laughs> but anyway, um, my point is, I'm not even talking about that right now, but what I'm saying is that you can say that many white men are white men you don't want and I want. I'm not going to really have an issue with that. But you have an issue, the vice versa, because you feel your black men aren't good enough. Otherwise, you wouldn't be affected. But, like I said, it's a brief little video. Me and my big nappy-ass head is going to go get a smoothie. You know, at least I don't have to slap on a uh, synthetic wig, though. Yeah, but you have to wear a straightener. I, I didn't show a straightener. My hair has been natural in both videos. In both, um, not videos. I haven't had videos in a while, actually. Have I had any videos with my natural hair? I don't know. But in the pictures, no. The picture you're talking about where you're saying that you don't, uh, you think I'm slow or whatever, that's my natural hair, sweetie. You're just jealous again. Uh, my natural hair is that way, and then my shorter hair was shown as well. Uh, I Either way, I'm actually better looking than you as far as the beauty analysis. Beauty is a, is a mathematical fact. So there's nothing we could do about that, okay? I can't make my face more unattractive so your face can be more attractive 
I understand some people are mad at people simply because they're more attractive than them. But understand the person that you're mad at can't help it and can't control it. We can't do anything about the fact that your face is different, okay? Now, you know, I, I just am like, one thing I want to make note of is you are not dark skin. You are not a staple of beauty for dark skinned black women. You don't look like dark skinned black women. You don't even look monoracial. You don't. You look biracial. And it's so funny, a biracial like you, basically with a biracial mother who's Creole, is trying to tell me about being a light skin or a mixed woman. My mother is black. Your mother will never be black. She was a urine colored, shriveled up, 70 year old looking woman who most likely is jonesing and out on some crack. <laughs> and you probably are on crack too. Maybe that's why you think it's a good idea to make up lies without actually having evidence of it. And you're not smart enough to actually come off slick about it either. Because you literally brought no links of any video that I've made. You've not put any clips in of any video I've made. You have just completely tried to make up lies on your video and thought somehow that that was going to affect me. All that happened was I'm just going to expose you for the liar that you are. But really, am I really exposing you or did you just expose yourself for the liar you are? because you wanted to conspire with some guy that was upset at me for not liking BBC. You guys need to lay off of it and just relax and understand that some people don't like BBC and it's not going to change. I'm just going to laugh at you both because why are you still obsessed over the fact that I don't like BBC? I don't like you black men like that. I'm not attracted to them. They look like females to me. I will never be attracted to a black man. That I just won't, okay? Their penises look like feces to me. I just don't have any attraction to them. So, that's all I'm going to say from this video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and comment down below.